Well, good morning, everyone. I'm Jan Erickson from Stepping Aside, and welcome to Somewhat Daily Tarot and Rune for the fifth day of December 2019. Well, five is about change, so clearly my husband told me I had just gotten out of the shower, and he, he, uh, he uh, came and told me that uh, they're drawing up impeachment articles today, or well, beginning today. So evidently there's going to be some change. That's, that's a big change. So we've, we've gone through part of the process and now we're, we're going into another one. So I guess, uh, I guess that could definitely be uh, uh, about change. Also five is about protection and safety. Uh, so I think that that's definitely what that's about, trying to protect the country from any more you know, nonsense that the uh, founders had the enough wisdom to to know could happen. You know, you can't become the president of a country and then use it to enrich in yourself. That that's not, and, and I mean, you can't do that. So, I don't know why anyone thought they could, but apparently, I don't know. In any event, uh, the sun's in the eleventh house of Sagittarius. Uh, Status is important as our social connections today. Um, so success in career. There's another uh, one with Scorpio uh, having to do with that as well. Let me see here. Is it Mars and Scorpio? Yes, it is. Mars and Scorpio and the 10th house. Uh, career focus is really intense today and maybe even to the point of, of considering a change of direction, new job, or, or, or maybe not leaving the company, but, but another. We've been talking lately about uh, uh, maybe uh, uh, vying for position. Maybe, maybe you're the one that's going to get it. You know, it could be that could be the news that, co that comes today. Uh, the moon in Pisces in the second house. So you're there you're talking more about a focus on spiritual pursuits, uh, but a square with Jupiter, you know, and this is going to be important, particularly if you are seeking a different position uh, and, and you've been interviewing for it or what have you. Um, you want to be careful with with the moon square Jupiter. You can get a you can go a little too far. You can get a little carried away. So just kind of exercise some restraint. A conjunct with Chiron um, and the moon. Uh, it's an emotionally healing time right now. So along with the, uh, it's, it sort of uh, aligns well with the moon in Pisces and the second house. Um, you're going to want to watch for synchronicities to come up, particularly again, if, if, if this is a career thing today, that's, that's maybe taking a new direction, watch for some synchronicities there as well. Um, let's see, Mercury, the 10th house in Scorpio, intense communications again, you know, career focus. So I don't know. There could be something, you know, a change on the horizon or a new direction there for you today. Um, otherwise, Venus is still in Capricorn. Now it's in the first house right now. Uh, you want to nurture your feminine side. So <laughs> stereotypically <laughs> taking care of your appearance and things like that. But but the first house is about what we how we how we how we how we see ourselves and how what the, the image that we project you know, so you're going to want to put your best foot forward again. If you're if you're trying to, you know, uh, look for a new position or or you're moving up in in, in the company that you're already in. Uh, again, a square with Jun Juno is still happening, suggesting nurturing of others is valued. So, I think today, you know, whatever is happening astrologically, you know, it could it it seems to be heading in a positive direction, whatever it is. And it seems to be uh, dealing with career uh, and and the supportive of people that you know. So maybe you're headed in a different direction. Uh, I've started doing some different things affiliate wise, not just with Amazon. I and I'm going to talk more about that because there's this one company that I found uh, called Ultimate Bundles. Go check them out. They're interesting. Uh, they have bundled stuff that that uh, right now I have up on the up on the website over at Stepping Aside. I'm steppingaside.com. My blog. Uh, it ha over on the side panel and then down below. If you go to an actual post, not just the home page, but at least on the side panel, there's a really cool uh, ad graphic. You can click on it. If you just click on it, it'll take you to that one bundle, and it has to do with herbs and essential oils. And I, I don't know a whole lot about it, and I'll, I'll research it a little bit more. I just, I just found them yesterday and became an affiliate. And so I, I'm going to start advertising some of the stuff they have. There's also meal planning, healthy meal planning bundle that they offer, and it's, it's something though that it's a. Uh, uh, 
you, you, you get it for like, I don't know, 37 bucks, 40 bucks, 50 bucks, whatever it is, you know, it's, it's not a whole lot of money and you get something worth a whole lot of money. And so I think that some of it's, some of it's instruction, you know, I, I don't know what it all is, but I'm going to go ahead and look, I just wanted to mention it briefly, you know, so if you want to go over there, if you like things like that, and I, I don't know, I was just looking at different affiliate opportunities and I, 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 uh, you know, because I'm looking to expand some of that, not a lot, you know, I want to be selective, but, but at the same time, you know, uh, I, I just think it's just a way to, to offset some blog costs and what maybe earn a little money, you know, at this advanced age of mine, but uh, it, I'm not, I'm not finished yet, you see, but, but in any event, I, I came upon these folks, it was a recommended, you know, uh, uh, site to do this with, and, and uh, I was just really surprised by what I found, and you know, they have different different uh, bundle campaigns that go on and, and that they offer and, and they just they put together stuff for people that's sort of in a, a cohesive fashion so that you don't have to do it yourself, I guess. I don't know. But it just seems like a really cool place. So Ultimate Bundles is the place. And, and I, you know, I, I, I don't I, I'll try to get a, 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 a link to it here. I'll, I'll, I'll get that and put that on when I when I uh, do the. Uh, when I upload, uh, I have to I have to actually watch this before I, I do that. So when I'm watching it, I'll get all the information and I'll include that there. So you can go over there and just check them out. It, it's a cool site. I, I think it, it's a woman that owns it. And, and, and it's just I don't know. It's it's just interesting. So anyhow, uh, let's go ahead, though, with with the reading. Um, thank you so much for coming. If this is your first time here, uh, click subscribe. I'd love you to do that. And do check out my blog, particularly if you want to go check out Ultimate Bundles. And uh, and it's again, it's a it's a really cool uh, ad graphic that's on the side panel there on the uh, when you if you click on well anywhere, even if you're on the home page, you'll see it um, just have to scroll down to find it. Um, and and just just go check that out as well. Uh, if you've come back here, thank you so much. I appreciate everyone. And uh, we're just here to learn all about tarot and runes and how they can enhance our lives and inform our lives. So. In any event, let me go ahead and get the rest of my notes up here. I was, I got my, uh, rather than using my little grimoire, which I have to, you know, like find a candle or my lighted, my lighted uh, magnifying glass to see what I've written. If, if I, if I'm trying to remember something and I can't remember it, you know, about a particular tarot card, that's how I was doing it. And then I, it dawned on me, you know, I have my, my witch notes book up on my, my, uh, uh, actually, it's one of the PDF proof copies <laughs> uh, on my iPad. And it's like, well, why can't I just go look at that? And then, then I don't have to, because uh, I put most of my, my, my ideas about tarot are in that book so, so that I wrote. So that's available on Amazon if you're interested in that. It's just a really small, I think it's 160-something pages, 167, I think. Just a small grimoire of uh, a book of correspondences, actually, you know, uh, not even a full grimoire, just 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 the correspondences that I use. So I just basically did it for myself and then thought, well, geez, that could be a book. <laughs> oh, I published it. Anyway, we're all ready to go here. Let's go ahead and take our first three cards and see what they have to say. And as always, I'm taking the first, I'm, I'm taking the 13th card each time for randomness sake. Uh, I took, the, I pulled the chariot, the seventh card of the major arcana. And we'll talk about them when we're all done here. Oh, well, another major card, the magician. We'll decide. Likely I'll put the chariot in the middle, but we'll see. And that's the thing about, about tarot. You know, even when you're using defined spreads, you, you can always move your cards around. You know, you have to make this make sense. And sometimes you'll just sit there and you'll go, well, what is that? You know, if you start reading it in order of, of how you of how you put it down, it, it, sometimes it, it's, it's just impossible to really see what it, it's trying to say. So be sure to move your cards around and make them make sense to you.
Well, maybe not. Maybe I'll put the four of wands in the center. Either that. Well, let's just talk about it first, and then we'll see if we need to move things around. Let me take a drink of tea here. Well, okay, so we have a 7, 8, and 4 is 12, so we're talking a 3 energy, so catalytic, so change as well uh, is contained within the 3 structure, uh, triple aspects, but manifestation really, uh, but manifest it, manifestation within a, a particular type of alignment, mind, body, spirit type of alignment. Now, I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to have the, uh, let's see, let's bring this back up here. Uh, normally, I would do a, a reading that looks like this, okay? Where I have the, I would have the four as the significator, and then I would have the, the bottom two here, the two, the two major cards as the, the foundation. But I, and, and I suppose we can do it that way, um, but I, but I think the directionality here is important. So what I want to do is I want to elevate the, the 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 seven and the one, the chariot and the magician. Uh, and it doesn't really. I guess we can switch them. Let's start with the ma the magician and move the chariot to the end. I what I want to do there is because we're, what we're going to do here is we're going to manifest harmony and balance. That's intentional with others. Okay. That's that's going to be the goal here. That's so, so you know the outcome of the reading before we ever start. But I think it's important because sometimes I think I think if we understand that what really informs us is spirit, not ego. All right. I mean, sometimes we're letting ego inform the situation uh, and letting our judgments and, and our perceptions uh, rather than spiritual truth, uh, drive our, our reactions and the choices and, and all of that and the decisions that we make. Um, sometimes, you know, that works out okay. And most of the time it's, you know, it's dicey. But uh, if you allow your spiritual side, the, the side of spirit to inform everything, um, that's really all we are. All we do is we vortex in, right? We slow our energy down to a, a very dense point, but it's not all of our energy that we slow down to a dense point, and the dense point being the body, right? There's all this energy everywhere else of us, right? Because we're merged in with the collective consciousness in the astral self, right? So I want the focal point to be, or the outcome to be the result of here, I think spirit informing the decisions that we make. So rather than my typical, you know, pyramidal shape like this, I'm going to invert it. All right. With spirit being at the top. So we'll have the magician and the chariot. So visualize that, that it's going to ultimately, well, if I don't drop them all on the floor, it's going to be like this instead, like a vortex coming down into form, right? Especially when you've got two major cards there, because those are cards of spirit. Those are soul archetype cards. And they're basically telling us how it is that 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 it's all going to go here for us, what the overall themes of life are that we're going to have to be dealing with while we're here, in addition to the overall one that we've created for ourselves. But here, we begin with a one energy, new beginnings. We see the lemnus gate above the magician's head. He's holding a scroll or wand or what have you, uh, but it's more like the scroll. Uh, he's holding high while pointing below. So there's an as above, so below feeling to this card. You see all of his tools on the table, the sword, the wand, the chalice, and the pentagram or the pentacle. You see abundance. You see lilies on the ground. You see roses. You see roses above his head in a sort of an archway you have it's sort of a container type of a situ of a setting isn't it where your magic is contained and whatever spell he's casting whatever manifesting he's doing that's what you're doing when you cast an intention you do that with the expectation that something is going to manifest right
There are even some oak leaves there on the ground. So we have purity and regeneration and rebirth and success. Now, the other aspect of self that we have is the seven. A seven denotes divinity. It denotes magic, balance. Think the scales when you think seven. Balance between the shadow side of self and spirit. You can see that reflected in the sphinx below, the lions below. You see the... You see the shield right above, right, 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 at, right in the center there of the chariot. You see the shield with the dreidel on it. The never-ending spinning of life, right? In balance, having to remain in balance lest the dreidel fall over. You see above that a winged disc, the disc uh, denoting the sun and healing. So healing the polarity within, learning how to, learning when to let go and when to take the reins. In this case, the king has let go. He's got his, his uh, uh, scepter in his right hand. His, his left hand, though, is empty. His receptive side is just, is, is just sitting there waiting, the side of purity. You see the cube on his breastplate denoting structure, but you see the implied triple aspect in his, uh, both right here uh, and, then the, and then with the uh, uh, crescent moons on his shoulders. Above you see the stars of, of heaven, Merkabahs really, and you see the large star on his, on his crown. But you see the balance contained with the card, within the card. You see, I mean, even contained within the kingdom behind. But everything is at rest here. And the decision to allow the creation, to allow spirit to inform, is present. And then when we move to the four, defining our foundation or structure with the four, you see above, again, the same garlands that you saw here, only this time in, a, in an x fashion, a crossed fashion, reminiscent of Gebo, the seventh rune, again, of the Elder Futhark. You have a, 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 an 11 energy, a, an 11 energetic relationship uh, between the chariot and the four, bringing everything into balance, learning in relationships when to control and when to allow. A little dry in the house this morning. But here you have a couple who've come together in intention, haven't they? You see, you see two poles, not just uh, one on each side, but two. Balance polarity in each one. They've resolved whatever, you know, balance they've needed to have so that they can come together then in mutual reciprocity with one another. You know, if, 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 if the couples individually are not balanced, then it makes interaction difficult. So they've resolved whatever they've need, needed to do. They've learned the message of, of when to allow and when to take control and to strike a, a, a reasonable balance there in their lives. And so they've come together in marriage, it looks like. You see their friends in the background. You see an archway there. It's a bridge to a new life, the kingdom behind them. But they raise their, their, their arms in celebration. You see three, not four. You see three uh, bouquets raised high. So again, mind, body, spirit in balance. So there's quite a bit of synchronicity today, and and where did we see that? Where did we see that here in the in the astrology? Where did we see? Oh, the the moon's conjunct with Chiron, the wounded healer. Uh, watch for it's an emotionally healing time, so watch for synchronicities. I think we have one in the reading. So if this isn't about career, it could be simply about negotiations in relationships you know you can think negotiation and career but a career is also a relationship is it not you know you have a relationship with your customers your clients or, or a relationship with your co-workers so 
with that relationship, you then go out and, and meet your needs in a sense, right? So it's really about coming together in balance with one another and leveling the playing field so that we all, we all begin from the same, you know, if not the same uh, originating culture or gender or income bracket or whatever, maybe our, who we are in our lives is different, but we have a shared purpose in mind and it's to come into balanced energy exchange with others as we embrace on something new with loving intention dropping resistance to the truth and allowing the truth the, the truth of spirit to inform the process to let go of the resistance felt with the ego and allow spirit to unfold reality in a way that 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 is uh, compassionate and present in other people's lives so interesting that's really fascinating you know, I'm, I'm glad I'm doing the astrology beforehand, just taking a quick look at little things, aspects, and where this and that is, you know, because it seems that we're finding a lot of synchronicity between it and the cards. This isn't the first time. Um, just like the day when I started looking upon this as more of a yod type of, of energy when I do a three-card reading, um, I think that uh, that one day that... that there was a yawn that was that was happening at that moment, and uh, uh, between I I forget who what what it was between, but between three planetary bodies and the reading that I did matched it perfectly. So it's like it's like hey, <laughs> God is saying here's something that might be of value. <laughs> well, you know, astrology is inherent within the within the tarot, so why wouldn't you want to? you know, incorporate it. I, I guess too, the, the idea was, was gelling, you know, because I look at a lot of hermetic type of decks, the hermetic tarot, uh, the Toth tarot. Um, I, I like that. They have a lot of information on it. The uh, uh, Enochian scrying tarot is one. Uh, it, on the back side is the Western Tatva tarot. So it's kind of two decks in one. That's incredible. If you, I, I can't find it anymore on Amazon. I got it from them uh, years ago and I can't find it there anymore. So I don't know if, if it's even being produced. So if you can get one um it is so informative just i mean just to look at the enochian side oh my god it has everything i, I mean it includes geomancy all kinds of things right but but then then the heindel deck it includes uh it includes the I Ching and it includes uh runes on it uh as well as astrological glyphs and hebrew lettering so you get to learn how all of these energies really um, correspond when you get to some of these more non-traditional decks because it's all right there on the card. They, they remind you, you know, and, and so you can consider the value of where the planet is and, and, and what this is the card of, you know, what, what governs this card and how does it all relate. So, so, it's, so I'm glad that I'm doing it because as you see, we have some synchronicities here. We also have Vunio, which is the eighth rune of the Elder Futhark. A higher level of uh, uh, soul awareness here, practicality as well, but it's being able to see the greater picture, you know, and, and with that on the soul level side, what you're talking about there is, is being more mindful that we are all part of the same collective consciousness. So we're all unified, whether we want to be or not, whether the ego wants us to be or not. The Vunio is about fellowship and joy. You can see Lagu's in it. You can see Kenaz turned inward, Isa, and I'll draw that for you so that you see a lot of these runes. You know, they may look like individual little runes, and they are, but they're really comprised of other energies, and I think it's valuable uh, to know what they are. Uh, it's sort of when you know the meaning behind it, you can see how, how, it, how they derived it, really, whoever did that. So there's a very bad rendition of Vunio. How I'm able to do these runes, I don't know. But there's Isa, there's Lagus, and there's Kenaz in reverse. The light of spirit turned inward. Lagus in the center, that's about flow. Isa is about, uh, that's the Norn rune, the, uh, the 11th rune of the Elder Futhark, the Norn rune for the present moment. Uh, talking about the static realm, freezing things into place. 
but it provides the cohesion necessary for fellowship to grow and, and, and the joy that results. Um, well, we'll leave this here because I have to do a geomancy room here. Um, we're doing pretty well on time, but let's go ahead and do that one. So basically, you know, we're going to come into fellowship and harmony with others. It's going to be intentional. It's going to be spirit-based. And let's see if the, if the geomancy runes can tell us something of what the foundation of that or what the, or what the reason for it was. Well, let's see. Oh, yes, we were experiencing some loss, weren't we, or some sadness. Um, I think, yeah, is that, is that Tristitia? Yep. Okay, let's draw that out. Now, the opposite of Tristitia is Laetitia, and Laetitia is joy. Tristitia then is sadness. Um, a lot of the time what I think, you know, geomancy in this particular methodology, you can do it like the way I'm doing it, or you can do uh, pendulums are also considered geomancy. There's just a, ley lines or geomancy, so... Lots of different ways to look at geomancy, but in this particular one, um, it's comprised of 16 runes, actually eight, and they're complements. So when you're looking at everything as being, you know, both sides of, a, of an entire unit, you know, you have joy and sadness. So there's the sadness part. Here would be the joy. So you see the polarity aspect of geomancy here. But I think that what has propelled people, there has to be an impetus for change, okay? And emotion can be that. You know, you can uh, be extremely happy. You know, say you get into a relationship with somebody, it's going somewhere, and, and you decide that you're going to get married. Well, it's likely because you're so happy, you just can't stand it, and you've got to get married, right? You just love this person so much. And so you can see where love can, you know, produce something, right? All kinds of things. It can be an impetus for change. Well, so can sadness, so can confusion, so can loss. And I think that we've had the, if, if we're coming back together with intention, then that's what we lost. And it's created such a sense of, well, it's just been so disturbing, hasn't it? Uh, usually, the political situation in a country does not affect all of us in such a profound way. Okay, it just doesn't. It it doesn't. It doesn't. It, it might be irritating. It might affect us. You know, sometimes in our personal lives. Uh, but if 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 seven hundred and fifty thousand people lose food stamps, I don't know right here before the holidays, you can see where we now have a government that is, is, is affecting our personal life so much that it's impossible to keep it out of our relationships with others. There, I've, I, I think I've said it. The thing is, if we are to resolve that, all right, whatever that looks like, uh, whether this is just some little thing that's happening in our personal life or whether this really is. It feels like it's greater, though. Uh, you, can, you can move from a point of sadness and loss to where, okay, I have to get out of this. I was just having this conversation with my husband. We were, I was talking about what the last 20 years of, of my life has been. 13 of it was spent being very, very ill. And then the rest of it, we've had a bunch of weird things go on, and, and it's, it's, been, it's been a weird time. But it feels like, a plus with, with you know, and, I, and the weird stuff also is with, you know, what the government looks like right now, because we're not supporters. And so for us, this is, a, this is troubling. And so the changes that are happening, you know, the, the process of trying to uncover the truth, that's important to us. Other people don't want that happening. I get that. But... Again, <laughs> you, you're going to have to live in service to the truth here, drop resistance and just listen, right? And, 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 and 
and be the magician in your life manifest something else manifest if, if you're having a having trouble interacting if you're having trouble you know doing any of those things you have to look at what's going on inside of you are you coming from a place of loss are you coming from a place of sadness you know is that informing your the decisions that you're making and it seems like that might be what was going on if you so so to use the 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 I mean, the most obvious example is, is the government and the election. If he, if what he was saying spoke to issues that you have in your life, then maybe you supported him. But I don't know that you really understood what you were supporting. And I think we're finding that out now. Now, some of us were too terrified to do that. And so we're just like, oh, God, you know, and so we didn't. OK, so we're not in the same place. All right. So you see, we have this 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 polarity that we now have to resolve with one another, with one feeling one way, another feeling another. Well, clearly a solution is possible. Right. If this is an issue in your family, for example, where you just have cannot get past something. You have to learn how much of that is driven by perception and how much of it is really driven by truth. And if it was true at one time, is it true now? Do you allow for change to take place, right? That, that, that can drive something, that, that can take you someplace better and can resolve the issues and come back into alignment with one another, all right? Same thing if it's a situation with a friend, you know, maybe you've just been in a situation and things are just so sad and you just, you can't stand it anymore. So you need to invoke something else, something else that, that, that reflects the as above, so below nature of who we are. But as above, so below doesn't mean that the two blend unless it's blending upward towards spirit. All right. It's not that somehow spirit has to, you know, somehow find its place in the ego. No, 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 no. The ego needs to transmute its issues and become spirit. Right. So. I think we've done that here with this reading, you know, having the magician and the uh, you have an eight energy between the two. So, again, you know, a practical sense of things that I still haven't taken care of my notifications here, <laughs> a practical sense to things that, that 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 is derived from spirit, not from ego. Having a being able to step back and take a broader look, a more dispassionate look. One that's not predicated upon judgment or perception or grievance or anything else, but just stand back and look at what you're seeing. Maybe the struggle you've had with somebody is because they're not well or because they've had challenges in their lives that have so impacted their ability to interact with you that, you know, so taking a higher perspective, seeing it for what it really was, and then know that you can come back together in intentional harmony with other people, balancing the polarity within both and coming together in a, with a stronger sense of purpose and resolve. It's better to live in Vunio. Trust me. Well, cool. I think we did it. And that'll have to carry us through the weekend until Monday. So in any event, <laughs> thank you so much for coming by. And uh, uh, again, uh, don't forget about that Ultimate Bundle site. I'm going to put some information down about it in the below my uh, where I have all the other information. I think I'm just going to have to have like an affiliate section, you know, for Amazon and whatever else I'm doing. So, uh, oh, Grass City. That's another one. I, uh, uh, if you uh, uh, use cannabis at all, if you, I use it medicinally um, uh, and otherwise, but medicinally, it, it keeps my RA in, 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 in remission. Uh, I do concentrates and stuff and uh, uh, oil and, and I don't vape, uh, but uh, I, I don't, I, I did that in the beginning and I just, I don't know, it just, it's just too much hassle. So um, it's just easier for me to, uh, you know, ingest or, 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 
you know, just smoke or whatever, you know, with a pipe or something. Although if I do vape, I, I use a volcano. So it's, it's not oil that I'm vaping or anything like that. It's, uh, um, it's just dried cannabis. Um, that's interesting because it looks like a volcano. It's really expensive, but, but it was a quick way to get the trichomes into my body and get the healing process started because I was so ill and I had to do something. I wasn't doing oil at the time. I didn't do that for the, for like another year. But uh, uh, but that they're on there too. I became an affiliate for them, and and so I I have uh, some advertisements for them on my my website as well. They've got some Christmas sales coming up. I've actually ordered some stuff from them. Uh, actually, a long time ago. I'll show you. They they don't have just pot, or I don't know. Maybe they. I'm sure they don't. They still have stuff like this. But I bought this box from them, and I'm a box person. It's got you know cannabis stuff in it, tools and things, but from uh, the vape things I used to have, but uh, but it's cool. It's got a little little chain on it. But anyway, it's just it's just neat. It's 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 ceramic and it's just it's cool anyway. But I thought about that when I saw that they had affiliate opportunities, and I I uh, I thought, well, heck, I know that company, and uh, and and I got everything. They they fulfilled everything that I ordered, and uh, I remember that, and uh, I ordered a bunch of stuff from them, uh, just little odds and ends, you know, um, hash pipe and stuff like that. But anyway, I ordered all that, and uh, and it, that was I think back in. Oh Lord, was that 2010 or 2011? So it's been a while since I ordered from them, but they're they've been around for a really long time, and and so I'll put something there about them as well. And as I I I'm waiting for it to be approved on some other sites, and so as I do that, I'll just I'll put those links. I'll just create a little affiliate section, and if you're interested in any of that, then click on it. And and if you do and you buy something, then in some places, if even if you just go there and look at stuff, uh, affiliates will earn on earn little commissions on 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 what you do. But but if you purchase something, then you know depending upon the site that that you're associated with um, or affiliated to. Uh, you know, commissions vary. They're just little advertising uh, commissions. It's small, but but it always but it also helps to defray blog costs and to pro- provide a little bit of an income for a blogger and an author. So, so it's uh, uh, some people do really really well. Um, I don't have any idea what I will do. So so hopefully you know that and and oh and the other one I need to to remind you of um, because I'm I'm stepping outside my comfort zone doing this um, is that uh, I'm also I also started a Patreon account. So if you want to go over to Patreon and and uh, support me there, I'd love you to do that. That would be lovely. I did uh, I've been posting some things over there that are public uh, but and so anyone can see them. Uh, to give you, I just to give people an idea of what I do, um, what I write about in the videos I do. But uh, I I did one yesterday that's just for patrons, and it's on. It's a new. It's going to be a series called F- uh, Foundations and Magic, and so I'm going to be talking about different things you can do. Um, I I started out with how you use elements, uh, elemental correspondences in magical workings, and so that's what that one was. And so if you want to go over there, uh, the tiers are very small: one dollar a month, three dollars a month, or five dollars a month. And one dollar is just fine. I don't care what you choose, really. It, it's whatever you want to do. Um, I it, the more people that that do it, the uh, more they can see these other videos. It's 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 unfortunately it's like behind a paywall, which don't you hate that but but it, but patreon is different it's a it's a site where bloggers and writers musicians uh photographers um I mean, everybody's on there. Journalists are on there uh, it, because if you're trying to do your own thing, it's difficult. You have to self-generate, and if you don't have products to sell, then you're really just having to sell yourself as the product. So, so it's it's a it's a weird thing to do. And at my age, I'm not comfortable at all doing it, but I'm doing it. So, I don't know. <laughs> New direction. <laughs> Anyhow, thanks again for stopping by. We'll see you on Monday. Uh, Have a wonderful weekend. Be good to yourself, be good to one another, and blessed be.